Hi YouTube, how are you? This is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love. How are you doing today? And thank you for uh, visiting my uh, channel. I am so glad that you are here. And I am doing this reading for February 2016 for the sign of Scorpio. Hi you Scorpions, how are you out there? I'm um, great, to, good to see you. Um, first of all, um, um, I, my dog is biting my toes, Tabby. Um, she likes socks for some reason. She'll just pull your socks off. You can keep trying to keep them on all you want. She just like pulls and pulls until she takes them all the way off. Then she like puts a hole in, in all of them. All of my socks got holes in them. But anywho, um, <laughs> I want to just bring on uh, one thing. I want to say one thing about, you know, the comments and everything. I've noticed that a lot of times I would get people saying, coming on saying, um, who is this reading for? Because I heard you say this sign and I heard you say that sign. Yes, that may have well have taken place. But, you know, it's time for common sense to kick in and say, you know, oops, you know, she made a mistake. Oops. You know, oops does happen a lot, you know, to a lot of the readers. Oops does happen. If I didn't catch it, if I catch it, sometimes I'll say, oh, you know, I didn't mean to say that, so I meant to say this sign. Us readers go through a lot of things. We have to read for people each and every day. We have readings for people. We have to do our readings for you guys. Uh, or, you know, um, we go through a lot and, you know, we deal with a lot of different energies and things like that. So you have to cough it up as a mistake. Okay. Don't type in there. Who is this reading for? The reading is for what you clicked on. Say if you clicked on Gemini and I'm going on with my reading and I, somehow or another, I said Leo or Virgo. It also could be, you know, I'm going to tell, tell you this. Ask, the next time you have that question in your mind, ask the most high God. Ask him. Ask the, the angels. And ask the, you know, the angel guides who speak through me. Ask them what? The, uh, uh, don't, don't ask me. Ask them to yourself, wherever you are, who is this sign for? Okay? You do that. That's what I'm going to say. Don't write it in the comments because the, it is for the, the uh, sign that you are looking at. Because it's right up there in the caption who the sign is for. Oops, we make mistakes. Oops, um, maybe the spirit gods made a mistake. You know, oops, you know, or maybe they did make a mistake. Maybe they were trying to tell somebody out there something about, maybe they know something about that particular sign that came out of my mouth. And I didn't catch it to say, oh, sorry. Because maybe it wasn't meant to be caught. Maybe it was meant to be part of that person's video for somebody out there. Now, just set that straight. Now, if you're going to continue to do that kind of stuff, it's going to be blocking time. I want to block it out because I have a lot of beautiful, be my, my, my subscribers are beautiful. I mean, they say some beautiful, nice things, and I love them for that. And, I'm, and that's why I give away so many things. I am going to have another giveaway, you guys, too. So watch out for the video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Because there's going to be some big things coming out there that I'm going to do before the end of next month. Okay? So so keep a lookout for it because that's how much I love my subscribers. They don't go on there and make no comments about, oh, uh, who is this sign for? You know, trivial stuff. That you gotta use, you have to have common sense for, and say, you know, oh, okay, she made a mistake, or it could mean something for somebody that's, you know, looking at the video. Maybe they, somebody out there can can understand what it is, why um, uh, spirit has made me say that, or had me to say that. It wasn't for me to understand. If I don't understand it, then you don't need to understand. All you need to know is that that video, whatever video you click on and looking at. And I may say from time to time, maybe make a mistake or either it was meant to be there for a reason and a purpose. And it may not have to be have nothing to do with none of us. So cut out the comments about asking about who to reading for, because I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to ignore it. And if it keeps happening over and over again, I'm going to start blocking people out because it's just really ridiculous. I don't need to see that kind of stuff. People make mistakes all the time. You don't need to be you know, be derogatory or, or anything like that, okay? That's all I have to say about that. I'm done with that. Now, 
what I am going to do, this is for the uh, sign of Scorpio for uh, February 2016, okay? And what I have is my crystal here. Da da! Remember, I used it last month for last month readings. Well, I kind of picked this thing up and looked at it really, really well one day. I love how it's sculpture. I was like, it was like shining and glittering to me and everything. Next thing you know, I started seeing and hearing things from it. So my spirit guides are really working with because I always say, you know, spirit guide, what can I do different? You know, that, that stays in the realness, you know, not nothing fake or anything like that. I still want it to be spiritually, you know, I don't, I, I don't ever want to get out of my spirituality. I always want to, you know, keep the most guy hot. Most high God, he's into everything. As long as you, you bring him there, he's there with everything. It don't matter what it is. And then there's some, you know, negative things that's there too, that because it comes from negative people. It all depends on where it comes from. If you're positive, you're from the most high God and you keep him the head of everything. He can make it turn everything around to be what the good in it. If you want to make it negative, you can make it bad. Okay. So there you have it. But I can, I'm going to do, uh, I called it, I gave it a name. I called it Crystal Notes. I'm so proud of it because I'm able to see in here and I see, I can see people in here and things like that. I saw like, um, like, uh, some, uh, notes, like warnings. I see like, I, I seen a lot of stuff in this, in this thing. I'm telling you, it's going to take me a minute to channel into it and everything. If y'all don't mind at the beginning, it's going to take me a minute to channel in. If you don't just have a little patience and then I'm going to shuffle the cards online because I don't want nobody to think that I'm rigging this stuff up or anything or this some kind of rig up thing. I'm just so proud of it and so happy to bring it to you guys' attention. And I'm proud. I really am. I'm really proud of that. I'm really happy about that because it, <laughs> I... No, the most high must know he he knows me more than anybody else that I just like different I like to do things I like to switch things up and do things a little different and catch you off guard I like to be uh, out of the box but I still want to be in the spiritual realm while I'm doing all these different things I, I have to be in the spiritual realm and the most high is showing me so many things he knows how he knows it you know that I could get bored easy or something like that so he's going to make this exciting for you and for me you know, so a, a lot of things that I do is going to be totally out of the box. They really are because that's, I'm an out of the box person because if I keep doing things the same way over and over again, I get bored and disgusted and then I don't want no more to do with it. But I know this is my calling because the most high God just keep letting me see and hear certain things and do certain things in a different kind of way, no matter what, what direction it go, it, he just keeps me out of box and that's where I like it. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. So just give me a minute to tune in and see what I can hear. I can hear out of it and I can see things in it. Okay. I can actually hear the angel guides. I guess that's what's in there. Angel guides may be telling me stuff, uh, uh, telling me stuff along with what I see in here. I, I, you know, they're telling me what I see, just a little story or whatever it is. That's how it's been working out so far. So here I go while I tune in. Please be patient with me. Thank you very much. Just a moment. Okay, for you Scorpios out there, I am seeing and getting um, notes of, well, um, like some books. Like there's some books. They're saying like there's some books around you that don't ignore them. Don't just walk by them like they're not there. They want you to, they want you to. Whatever, they want you to put these books or whatever it is, some kind of books is going to unlock some kind of secret or something or some unlock some kind of clarity or 
within you. This may even mean schooling. I'm hearing schooling, but I'm I'm hearing most of all unlocking some kind of secret or something with some books that you, they saying don't 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 ignore because I see the books up here, but it looks like it, you go and buy them. It's like almost on a daily basis, whatever this book is, it could be the Bible. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the book is. It's not showing me that or and they're not even saying anything, just saying books and don't ignore them. Um, and it says, the, I guess they want you to read them because it's going to unlock some secrets that might have been hidden and it can turn your problems around. That's what I got from that. It can turn your problems around. Uh, stop ignoring the books that some books or some kind of books or something scripts or something to uh, um, because it's going to turn your situation around from negative to a positive if you read it it'll it's going to unlock you're going to it's, it's going to be able to show show you some things like that you never saw before for a lot of you Scorpios it's going to enlighten you let me put it that way it's going to enlighten you. What you've been ignoring and, you know, and bypassing with these books and things is going to enlighten you when you take the time out to, to open it up and see what's in, in it by reading it. Okay? That's that's what I got, the messages I got. And I saw the books in, in that crystal. I saw them. And I saw the person just keep going, you know, ignoring them like they're not even there, but they're of some kind of importance. They may be some old ass books that you got there or something, some, something got, might be in there to tell you something about your ancestor. There's just no telling where this story can go, but we're going to see. Um, it also telling me as far as uh, relationship wise, like somebody may need to get more educated about, a, about relationships and how to how to have a relationship with somebody, how to have a relationship, how to have a sexual relationship or something like that is coming up for some of you Scorpios, um, how to be more compassionate with your partner, uh, because some of you Scorpios can come across kind of cold and chilly and whiny, whiny kind of whining all the time and, um, Things like that I keep hearing. But I believe, you know, if you get into the educate yourself with how relationship relationships are will open up your eyes and change your world. It'll change your world. It'll make you a, a different person. Okay. One more time. And then I'm going to start pulling because nothing's falling out. Nothing fell out for you or the last sign I did. I think it was uh, cancer that I did. Okay. Excuse me while I take a drink. I don't know. My throat is real dry. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, from the top, we already did the um, crystal note, and um, yeah, the first card you got is the emperor, the emperor, the emperor, and the emperor is, you know, in this reading, is somebody that, that has their stuff together, they got knowledge, um, they could be a preacher, a teacher, um, they could be a father, somebody's father, or like a father figure. And they also, the emperor can also be somebody that's passed over into the a spiritual world, looking over on someone, a relative or something like that, looking over on someone in the, in the, um, in the earthly, in the flesh. The emperor is a wise man. He knows all. He sits back and he thinks about a lot of things. He has um, a high prestige. He's very giving, very kind, very loving, very nurturing, this emperor is. Um, he's pretty much got his stuff together. 
and this is a significant meaning um for you scorpios this person whether you're male or female whether this is male or female is some some importance in, in it and that person may be the one that you need to get more to be maybe to be like to be like maybe if you read them books or something like that on like your personality or how to have a relationship stuff like that you can get to the point to where you're like the emperor too like get get getting it together yeah because you got the two of wands and wands are fire signs you know if it's a person um they're they're uh fire sign aries sagittarius or leo they're showing me or or the uh the 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 gods are telling me that you know you there's a lot of hot head hot head is what they're telling me like being a hothead, making a mountain out of a molehill, always want to be on top of everything and know everything about everything, looking, always looking for something to criticize some of you, or it could be somebody around you, always, um, Wanting to always wanting to be combat combative combative or com, or not combat yeah combative or or in competition with the moon there too it's like there's a, again the hidden thing there's things right around you that can help you to be a better person but you're ignoring it like i said i saw the books in the in the in the what i call it the crystal note i've seen books and stuff in there like studies or something like that that you need to there's some things that you need to study on to get this uh, to get a certain relationship off the ground and and be something like be like the emperor or you know, to let the emperor look over you and help you in this study of relationships within yourself, whatever's going on within yourself. For some of you Scorpios out there, um, some some of y'all maybe two situations that you're dealing with, maybe you're crossed on a decision or something like that because of two. Uh, and then we got our major arcana card, the emperor's major arcana, so they're pointing. You know, and like I said, lessons, lessons to be learned too from this cat right here. A lot of lessons that you can be learning. You know that that then maybe that's what they meant by the books and stuff like that. There's a it's lessons to be learned. Now I'm seeing it. Yes, lessons to be learned. And with the temperance here, yep, it's also talking about lessons about yourself and your ways. Some of your ways that turn people off sometimes. For some of you, Scorpios, not all of you, and uh, you need to go ahead and just you know dip. Come clean, come get naked, and dip yourself in the holy water is what you need to do. That's what the temperance is all about. And, and about balance. Balance out your life, you know. Balance out your love relationship. Because there's somebody here that you're constant in battle with or combated with or you're you're out of balance with, but you're with them anyway, any, no matter what. It's like... But you need to be more like this person. And this is a person that's very influential in your life. And you need to listen to them. You need to listen and you need to study. Study hard about what's going on around you. Because there's some competitive uh, to where you want to be on top all the time. There's a partner here that's not meant for you. But you're not seeing it. It may be because you may be imitating somebody else. Maybe imitating some things you've seen in a family situation. And they may be on the other side. They may have passed. They may have passed over. But they're still there watching over you. Want you not to make those same mistakes. Or wanting better for you. So they're saying dip yourself in the holy water. 
and change and learn and educate yourself to be a better person. That's what I'm getting out of it. And, and also from what I've seen that with the crystal notes, saying your, your problems will get better with temp if you just listen, look, listen to your angel guides, whoever this person that passed over the emperor, or they may be in your midst still for some of you Scorpios or some of you they have passed over and they are looking out for your well-being to turn your situation around as far as a love life situation. They're trying to turn it around and the temperature is a major arcana card is something that you really, really need to do. And also you get the, yeah, the four of wands, the four of wands, which means like uh, a stability this makes sense now. You need to teach yourself. You need to retrain yourself. Some of you scorpions out there on love relationships, relationships, partnerships, how they should work, not using the same techniques as what you saw as when you grew up as a child because everybody was raised differently, but you have to be the, you have to be, you got to be the bigger person to set an example for the new generation that's coming up, not doing the same things that was done through your family history. You got to be the one that the mortar or you got to be the mortar of the of the the family when it comes to how to love and love relationships and things like that. And it's going to take you to change. Take a look at yourself. It's going to take you having to uh, study as they were talking about in the books that I saw. It takes for you to study yourself and listen to your angel guides and things like that or somebody who's passed over for some of you on the other side is looking after you and they're trying to give you messages, but you're ignoring them. You're ignoring the messages and the messages may be in um, the books or something that surrounds you that you keep walking by or the lessons or something of that nature that, that's going to unlock some and, and set a brand new life for you than what you've been doing. It'll bring you a happy home. It'll bring you to total happiness in, in like a, a structured a structured balance harmony relationship for a lot of you Scorpios out there it's going to bring on a balance in this in, in a relationship with someone because right now you're out of balance in relationships when it comes to relationships you're very out of balance because you want to always, it's like you always, you think you got to prove yourself for something or be better than somebody at something. Or you feel like you got to compete a lot with, with your mates when you mate male or female scorpions. But you got to wash yourself clean here. Get yourself educated. Listen to your angel guides here who's passed over or a father figure who is still in your life now. Listen and learn. Listen and learn. And you can bring on happiness you can turn your problems around like i said in that um crystal note you can turn your problems around you can scorpio you can do it just learn the lessons just listen and learn that's all you got to do don't 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 say too much of nothing because there's something there that can unlock your uh your future to a better one Just a moment while I shuffle. I'm just still thinking. Uh, you know, well, I'm still thinking about that. What um, what I just told you. I feel like I had to tell you more. Okay, this is the oracle card here. I'm going to read you, and it's going to say, "Look, a lot of you Scorpios out there, if you go and listen to what your the messages of what your guides have told you today, you will be in a big surprise. Keep an open mind." The influence of grace is often found, uh, found in unexpected places. See, now that makes sense along with the um, crystal note that I said about, you know, finding stuff. I saw books there, stuff that you were passing by that was of importance. You need to stop and focus and look at those things that you're, you, you just keep walking by and not paying attention to. You need to pay attention to those things because that's going to bring on 
uh, a great influence and it'll keep your mind open. Happy, have an open mind and grace. And there, there is, uh, uh, and it'll bring on a surprise to you in your life. You know, you'll be very, very surprised. It, 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 grace is often found in unexpected places. So stop bypassing what's trying to, what's right up in front of your face. That's what you're saying, Scorpio. Okay. Now, this will be the last cards here, the Oracle cards. I'm going to pick one out of this for you. And I already showed you the boxes and all that of what the cards are that I'm reading from. Give it one more shuffle. Sorry for the silence. There's one that's right there that wants to come out. Okay, Scorpio. To end your reading, the final uh, card says, make sense, transition. If you follow the messages of your guides that you were told today, for some of you Scorpios out there, male or female, is going to bring on transformation. I'm sorry, transition, almost the same thing. Transition, transformation, same thing. Uh, and you're going to see life with new eyes. You're going to be surprised. Remember the surprise part? It's going to surprise you. What you've been ignoring, what you've been um, walking by, and, you know, that holds the key to your future, which may be, you know, you know, in love relationships and how you treat your love relationships is all about how you treat yourself. So once you become a new you, some of you Scorpions out there, you're going to find a new um, love of, of harmony, of uh, companionship, of knowing, getting along without having to argue every single day and being compatible competitive and things like that all that is going to wash away because you're going to get, educate yourself on yourself and you're going to listen to your guiding angels so you, they can set you on the path of this um this transition period here that you're going to go through and it's going to all work out just fine if you listen and if you pay attention to what's going on around you and things that you're not listening to as i said with you know, with you know, you know, take on some kind of self study. Maybe that's what they meant by the book. Some kind of self study here. It's, it's all about you. It's all about relationships in this relationship that you're currently in. Some of you Scorpios are in are is very very bad and it's very very toxic. It's so it's so toxic to where it's is it seems like it's stemming from like some sort of generational thing that you're doing. It's like you're just you're just like a robot, like doing what you've seen that was done in your lifetime, that you've seen in your home life or something like that. But they're asking you to step out and be the mortar of the whole entire family and change that all that drama situation into uh, um, like a miracle down near like changing your attitude about ha things and people and places and and your relationships and that's going to bring the next generation up to be loving and caring and not seeing a bunch of drama and things like that that's the message that spirit gave me to give to you scorpions and that's going to be it i just want y'all to say uh, I'm, i mean i just want to say to y'all <laughs> Thank you once again for viewing my channels, and I hope you know somebody out there got the message out there that the spirit is trying to say or did say. Um, I, I I thank you guys for viewing my uh, videos. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for thumbs up. I thank you for your beautiful comments. I'm sorry that I couldn't answer a lot of you because if you look up at the schedule book up there. I, I t was totally booked almost every single day in January with readings. And I'm so surprised that I'm sitting here doing this now. I really am and, and actually feeling really well, you know, after even doing all those readings. So I'm getting stronger and stronger. We all get stronger and stronger. We all get better and better.
you know, and I praise God and I thank him. I thank him so much. And I thank him for you guys who, who subscribe to my channel, for giving the messages that he gives to give to you to make your life all change to, to a better life as I want is a better life a more positive life, a more loving life. So, uh, you know, some things you have to just sacrifice in order to do that. You some, Sometimes you have to purge also. You have to purge out all that mess, all the ugliness, all the the hate that you may feel for somebody for what they've done. You have to, you have to admit that, you know what, you know, I'm at fault for that too, for accepting what that was in my life. I'm at fault for that. You got to admit it. You got to come to yourself. You got to come clean like the temperance card came out and you got to face some things that's right around you. Like I said, them books and, and you, you know, you going by them, just keep bypassing the key to your life is these books or these to unlock some secrets that you need to know about that's going to turn your life in for the better for a lot of you Scorpios okay so as I say all the time love is all there is and love is all there ever be I'll see you guys next month bye bye <laughs>